looking for something to put back into the water to help restore the health of the marine ecosystem. And one of the things that was here in abundance in the past were these massive native oysters. So what we decided to do was try and restore the native oyster beds that used to be prevalent in Loch Craignish. We're rewilding, we're bringing back an ancient species to our gorgeous loch. The community's very excited. Every time we put something on it about Facebook, there's loads and loads of likes and interest. Well, the community has been involved all the time. We've, you know, we had a big public meeting about rewilding, and I think it was around 120 people came. There'll be snorkelers, there'll be divers, there'll be people coming out with their kids. So everybody will be getting involved. It's all about hope. I think oysters are not naturally attractive creatures. They're brown and they're muddy, but they bring so much to this loch. Where you get eaten native oysters, they create these complex reefs, they become fish spawning grounds and fish nurseries, and you get a huge amount of biodiversity with native oysters. I look forward to the reef naturally forming and to all the little fish darting in and out of the crinkles. I want to see the seas return to something of what they were like um, before. So putting back native oysters is the first thing we can do, but we can do other rewilding projects. And it's really important that the community get behind this because it can create jobs, it can restore the health of the local marine environment, and it's good for Scotland. When we've got this right and we've learned all the lessons from this, this project can be replicated all throughout Scotland and make brilliantly shiny, happy, healthy sea areas for everybody.